In this video, I will tell you the pros and cons of learning Solidity. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and on Hit the Blocks, I help you to become a blockchain developer. So Solidity is the most popular programming language for smart contracts. And if you want to become a blockchain developer, this is the skill that you need. But some influencers make it seem like learning Solidity only has advantages while there are a lot of advantages, there are also some disadvantages. So in this video, I wanted to give you a realistic picture of what it would be to become a Solidity developer, the good and the bad, both from a technical point of view and also from a career point of view. So let's start with the pros. So the first pro is that there is a high demand for Solidity developers. So from new projects to more established startups to big companies, there are many different types of employers that are interested in Solidity developers, especially now that we are in a bull market. As long as you are a qualified Solidity developer, you will not be out of a job. And because Solidity is a rare skill, there aren't enough Solidity developers on the market and salaries are pretty high. For a junior, we're talking about $100,000 per year. And for a senior, it can go up to $250,000 per year. The second pro of learning Solidity is that you can make money with grants and hackathon. So this is a great way to get paid while learning. Grants are programs that are sponsored by blockchain foundations to attract developers on their platform. So a lot of blockchains are running these programs and the grants work by offering money upfront in exchange for building something on their blockchain as a reward. We don't really have equivalents in Web 2s, for example, in Web 2, I've never heard of an API that runs some grand program to build on their API, it just doesn't exist. The next pro is that when you learn Solidity, this is a skill applicable to many blockchains, okay? This is a common misconception. A lot of beginners think that Solidity is only for the Ethereum blockchain, but it's also applicable to many other blockchains like Binance Smart Chain or Polygon. And that's because the technology of Ethereum, what we call the EVM for Ethereum Virtual Machine, this EVM technology is used in many other blockchains. So you can really leverage your Solidity skills in a really wide scope. The next pro of learning Solidity is that you will unlock opportunities in DeFi. So DeFi or decentralized finance, this is the number one use case for blockchain technology right now. And DeFi company needs a lot of Solidity developers. So the next advantage of learning Solidity is that you will unlock some opportunities in a full stack blockchain development. So full stack blockchain development is when you build a full decentralized application. So front end and smart contract, but in most cases you actually just do the front end and you just interact with a smart contract. But what you can do once you know Solidity is later transition to full stack blockchain development. The next pro of learning Solidity is that you can work in smart contract security. So there are a lot of hacks in smart contracts and there is a whole sub niche of blockchain called smart contract auditing. So smart contract auditors are experts who know both blockchain and security and who will audit the code of Solidity smart contract to make sure that they have no bugs and knowing Solidity is a great first step before becoming a smart contract auditor. The next advantage of learning Solidity is that you will be able to build crypto trading bots. So trading bots are programs that automatically trade on your behalf and there are trading bots that are specialized just for crypto, but to build these crypto trading bots, you need to know how to interact with Solidity smart contracts. And once you know how to do this, there are different ways to monetize this. So of course you can run your own trading bots and make money like this, but you can also work for financial company that run trading operation on the crypto market. For example, you have hedge funds that are specialized in this. The next advantage of learning Solidity is that you will work in the Ethereum ecosystem. So 
Ethereum is the biggest ecosystem in blockchain. This is where you have the most blockchain developers. The smartest people are in this community. There are a lot of innovations, a lot of new cool tech. So by learning Solidity, you will be part of this community. And as the saying goes, a rising tide lifts all boats. So the next advantage of learning Solidity is that this is a cutting edge technology. So it's not like you're learning some boring old tech that never evolved with Solidity. Things are changing all the time. So if you're a little bit bored at your job, well, Solidity will not disappoint you. The next advantage of learning Solidity is that now we have mature development tools. So before it wasn't the case, for example, I've been in blockchain since 2017 and I had to learn countless different frameworks. I learned at least three different smart contract frameworks. But recently the community started to settle on a few tools that everybody agrees on. For example, for smart contract framework, everybody nowadays use Foundry. So you don't have the uncertainty that you had before and the tools also are much more robust and much more powerful. So the next advantage of learning Solidity is that you can build application without any gatekeeper. So blockchain application can bypass a lot of traditional middlemen like banks or app store, which give you a lot of independence, a lot of autonomy. For example, in Solidity, you can interact with any other smart contracts on the blockchain, with any existing DeFi protocol. There is no need to ask for authorization, no need to create an API key. Everything is open by default, which is great for builders. And the last advantage of learning Solidity is that you can build something that you care about. So a lot of developers feel like they work on something that doesn't matter. For example, if you build some repetitive crude app or some corporate application, it can be really boring. But when you are a Solidity developer, it feels like you're building something really important because you are working with real money. You build on values that you are aligned with, like decentralization, like giving ownership to people. There are other developer niches where people also really care about their work, like video games. But in most of these niches, usually salaries are pretty low. In blockchain, you don't have to choose between passion and money. You can have your cake and eat it too. All right, so that's it for the pros. So now we're going to talk of the cons. So one of the biggest cons of learning Solidity is that Solidity is a very limited language. So it's not possible to store large collections. It's not possible to store large piece of data, like a picture, for example. And it has very limited support for strings. So this really forces you to change the way you program and it forces you to simplify your application. The next con is that you cannot do complex logic because smart contracts are limited to 24 kilobytes in size on the Ethereum blockchain. That's roughly equivalent to a few hundred of line of code. So if you have a complex smart contracts, you need to break it down into several smaller contracts and it becomes a bit more complex. Uh, by the way, this is not a limitation of Solidity, but that's a limitation of the EVM. The next con of learning Solidity is that smart contracts cannot be updated. So this is also a limitation of the EVM, not Solidity per se. So for a traditional application, it's relatively easy to update. You just push the code to your server, maybe do a database migration, and that's it. For a smart contract, you cannot just update your smart contract like this. Once it's deployed, you can never change the code, so you better make it right the first time. There are some workarounds, but it's not a native solution. The next con of learning Solidity is that Solidity cannot interact with the outside world. That means that everything you do must be inside the blockchain. So you cannot do API calls, you cannot get outside data, but that's a huge issue because in, in order for your application to be useful, it needs to do those things. So there is a workaround and it's called Oracles, but it's more complex. It's not a native solution. The next con of learning Solidity is that you have some security challenges. So with all the money that is stored in smart contract, 
it creates a giant honeypot for hackers. And so that's why hackers try to hack smart contracts all the time. Last year, for example, several billions were stolen from smart contracts. So that's why security is extremely important when you are a Solidity developer. If you make a mistake in your code, it can cause hundreds of millions of dollars in hacks. So you have more responsibility. The next con of learning Solidity is that testing is mandatory. So because it's not possible to update a smart contract and because we have these security challenges, we need to make sure that everything is right before deploying. And one way to do this is to test your smart contract. So testing a smart contract is not something optional. It's mandatory and you need to have 100% coverage. So it can be a little bit annoying to write all those tests. Usually you spend more time writing tests than the actual code of the smart contract. And there is one thing about testing that I really hate is when you have to test on so-called public test nets. So these are test blockchain network. But to do this, you need to get some test net ether and this is free, but sometimes it's hard to get and it can really slow you down. The next con of learning Solidity is that it's hard to debug. So for example, in JavaScript, we have console log. Well, in Solidity, we don't have it. There are some smart contract frameworks that offer an equivalent, but it's not exactly the same. And usually the error messages are a bit harder to understand. The next con of learning Solidity is that you have to deal with gas cost. So every time you call a function that can modify data on the blockchain, you need to pay a transaction fee and that is measured with a unit called gas. So as a Solidity developer, it means that you not only need to produce some code that work, but it also needs to be gas optimized so that end users don't pay too much in transaction fees. And that also means that when you deploy to production, you have to pay real money. The next con of learning Solidity is that it has a limited use outside of the blockchain. So Solidity has a very narrow focus is just for blockchain application on the Ethereum blockchain. In comparison, when you learn a language like JavaScript or Python, you can use them in a wide range of tasks. The next con is legal risk. So I know this one is a bit weird, but you have to know that some Solidity developers got into some legal issue. Some of them were sued. Some of them even ended up in prison. So usually it's because these guys were working on very special blockchain project involving on-chain privacy, and they were accused by the US of breaching some financial regulation. Now, very few Solidity developers work on this project, so most likely you won't run into it, and the new US administration seems to be much more open to crypto, so it's not as scary as it looks. The next con of learning Solidity is that you will have to face recruitment scams. So there are a lot of scams on LinkedIn where fake recruiters pretend to hire a blockchain developer. They give you a fake technical interview where you have to download a GitHub repo. So you download the GitHub repo and when you install it, it will install a malware that will steal your private keys if you have some wallets and so you will lose all your crypto. So blockchain developers are specially targeted because a lot of them also own some crypto. But it will probably be over soon because now everybody is aware of this scam, so it's not as effective as before. The next con for learning Solidity is that it's easy to get burnout in the crypto world. So the crypto world is moving very fast. There are always some new innovation, some new protocol, and so it's really easy to get burnout. And finally, the last con is that crypto is cyclical. So crypto alternates between periods of bull market where Solidity developers are in high demand and period of bear market where there is less demand. So the best thing is to get in when there is a bull market like now. And once there is a bear market, well, if you are already in the industry, then you should be fine. But as the industry gets more mature, it also gets less volatile. So I think in the future, it's going to be less of a problem. So becoming a Solidity developer has its pros and cons, but overall, 
I think that pros outweigh the cons and is still one of the best niche for developers in 2025. Especially now that we are in a bull market, there is a massive spike in demand for Solidity developers. So it's a great time to get in. And one of the best ways to learn Solidity is to do coding challenges of increasing difficulty. I have just launched the 30 day academy and learning platform for blockchain with a unique teaching method. For each course, you will have one coding challenge per day for 30 days. So you learn by doing and not by passively watching video tutorials. So to register to the 30 day academy, use the link down below. Okay, that's it for this video. Bye.